What's going on YouTube? It's Donnie B all day. It's a little windy, so if the microphone gets kind of muffled, I apologize. There's nothing I can really do about that. Uh, today, I'm bringing you another knife, obviously, since this is what I do. Uh, I'm bringing you the Ontario Rat 7. Um, typical Ontario knife. It's awesome. I ended up doing this sh sheath um, because like the, um, like the Becker, the sheath is the nylon with the plastic insert and if you just shake it it just it rattles all over the place and it's an awful sound to have for a knife sheath so we're just going to toss this away and we're going to go over this knife what i'm going to do however is i'm going to stick it next to a couple competitors and i'm going to start that way and show you um, what this knife looks like to uh, next to some of its buddies so let's do that all right here we are so the only reason i i actually set this thing up next to a couple of its competitors is so you could see how really close some of these knives are. Um, left to right we have obviously what we're talking about the Ontario Rat 7. Next to that we have which you can easily see the SE6 and next to that the Steel Wheel Roamer. All of them are pretty near equal. Um, the, the one big difference between the Rat 7 and the SE and the steel wheel is just blade length. It's about an inch longer, making it around seven inches at the blade. Um, as far as the Rat 7 to the SE, you'll notice handle for handle, it's the same size, same shape. It's even pretty much the same at the top where the lanyard hole is. And, and it nearly has the same edge. I would just uh, give the edge haha, to um, SE over the Rat 7. It's just a little bit better. Uh, what differs more strongly with the steel wheel, obviously, is the really comfortable, awesome, ugly rubber handle. Uh, two of them look better, one of them feels better, just to your preference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over this Rat 7 just a little bit. I'm going to knock on wood, haha, -ha, and, uh, and do a couple other things. We'll see if we can't have some fun, so just hold on. All right, everybody. So here we are at the pallet, and I use the pallets more than logs because I don't have to cut down a pallet, they're already there. So it comes down to lazy. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the Rat 7, even though it's a little slippery, um, and I'm gonna knock a few wax into this pallet and see what we can take out for chunks. And right away, I can tell you that chunks are flying so literally it's a it's more than a fair chopper um, it's actually a really really good chopper this thing blade wise it's it's gonna go through it very very easily I mean it's like chopping through an avocado right now um, the only problem is these micarta grips especially here in the cold are really really slippery um, what I, where I differ from a lot of people who review knives is they all wear gloves and uh, that's great because they'll tell you about how comfortable and how secure the blade feels in the hand but how do they know they're wearing gloves you can't really feel it uh, and sometimes when you need a knife you don't have time to put on some some fancy gloves so I like to um, I like to use it barehanded in any weather because if it comes down to when I need it, I'm not guaranteed to have a glove and I want to know how this knife is going to perform, you know, skin on handle. Uh, and you know, when I put on, if, if I have the, the ability to grab a glove at the time, then bonus. But until then, I'm giving you guys a, uh, a, a true feeling for how the knife uh, reacts to the hand. Um, rather than how the knife reacts to a glove because not everybody's wearing the same gloves either um, Very nice. I will say this um, the jimping is Is great. It's got really really nice um, heavy jimping. It's exact to the se6 even in length and placement um, one thing I don't like is And everybody knows I love a choil. This choil is wicked wicked small Massachusetts. It's wicked. It's really really small. It's almost like you're not even having one um, but uh, to make up for it what they do is 
they give you a fine, fine edge. Um, I know I didn't beat on it too hard, but you can see by the wear on the blade that I've already used it more than once. Um, this edge, this edge holds up. It's a, it's a very, very, very good edge. The steel is very good. Um, my only knock is it's probably slightly thicker in the spine than the SE6, but the tip, just like the Becker, is very, very thin. So as far as prying, I don't know necessarily if I would uh, try to really rake it over and, and see what degree I can bend this thing in because I just wouldn't trust it. Um, however, that sharp little tip should bite in really well when we drop or throw this knife. And that's what we're going to go see. All right. All right. So here we are at the stump, the world famous stump. You're famous, buddy. So this is what we're going to do again. Like always, I'm going to just drop it straight um, without thrusting it. I want to see how the weight distribution is, if the scales are going to pull the, pull the blade over. And I want to see if the scales are going to loosen from uh, vibration. So let's go. That was my fault. I literally, uh, I felt myself let it go in a bad angle. So I'm going to pry a little bit, but if it bites too far, which it's actually biting pretty well. I'm not going to go crazy on the uh, boop, on, on on the prying. Um, let's see. It uh, it feels really really good weight wise. Again, the only thing that gets me, man, I'll tell you what, that's in there pretty pretty freaking good. And I'm glad it kind of went at this angle because you can see the flex. I'm pretty sure you can see that that blade is flexing very, very well. Um, of course, I'm not going to pull it too hard and break the tip because it's mine. Um, so that's what you have. Again, the micarta barehanded. I have no idea what that noise just was. The micarta barehanded is very slippery. Um, but as far as the knife is concerned, it's kind of awesome. So let's see. Let's see if we get a couple chops down here. Yeah. This thing, it's a it's a really, really nice knife. Um, it's it carves well, it feather sticks well. This is a um, this wood's been out for a long time. It's really hard. Um, but it's making almost more of a fluff than anything on a softer wood or on a better wood I should say it feather sticks really nice I've used it plenty of times for that um, but right now I mean you could I don't know if you could see that stuff flaking off but it's literally is fine as snowflake um, that's good if you want to build a fire uh, so let's go chop down some of those little soft one inch trees I have fun I don't know if you do all right, so here we are at my um, mini forest. Uh, it's getting smaller because I've been using it. Now, my last review, I noticed that when I wear my sweatshirts, they're generally oversized because it gets cold out here in Massachusetts. Um, and I, I, I was looking at this video and I thought, wow, it's true what they say. TV really adds 10 pounds. I look fat. I just want, you know, I'm vain. <laughs> I'm not as fat as I look in these videos. All right, so what we're going to do is... Like always, I'm just gonna swing through some of this crap and uh, see, not if it can cut it, because it, you should be able to cut these things with a butter knife. It's just how clean it cuts it, how smooth and how easy. So we'll take a few, um, a few whacks. Now, did it go all the way through? No, I can still see it, but I can tell you that the cut is clean. Um, well, that one came off. So, very, 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 nice cutter i mean that's just clean 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 um let's hit a, something a little bigger see what it would take to get through this even though it's loose hanging that's not too shabby um i mean a lot of this is user error you know if if i'm off at a at a angle or if I just hit it wrong, it's not gonna go, or the next person can just come and one slice, 
say, hey, you look like an idiot, you can't knock down a tree. Um, this knife is very, very capable. Uh, it's very good, it's very strong. It can do anything I throw at it. Let's see, uh, let's see how well we do shaving. Um, I've used this knife a lot, so it's not 100% shave sharp. It's moving some hair, but it's not really lifting it. Um, where other knives I have after use, it still shaves. Um, my, my case, my hen and rooster, those things will shave no matter what I put them through. Um, this thing, it's just not meant to. I mean, it's a great knife, don't get me wrong, but um, it has its limits and, it, and then it, it does things that other knives can't do. So let's go on the, uh, the final, final rack and go over this finally. So the Ontario Rat 7. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I said, let's go finally talk about it or something like that. What is wrong with me? Anyway, it doesn't take away from uh, what we're seeing here. This blade is very, very, very good. Um, I love the length. Uh, I think that extra inch really helps when things like uh, batoning are needed. Um, if you're going to use it as some kind of spear, uh, that length really, really helps. It, it, it's, uh, it's magnificent. It's sharp. It's strong. The, uh, the grind is nice and flat. Um, and it's pretty. It's just a, a good looking knife. The fit and finish is there. Um, and let's see, you can see that there are no liners, but it's really, really tight. The, uh, the micarta is really nice. It, it's actually, um, very very well put together and very very nice looking I just don't like how slippery it is um, the edge is out of the box fine it still looks great and if you're wondering okay well should I buy this well let me tell you if you want it buy it because it's gonna do the trick it's a great knife there are other knives like it sure but you know, it, it comes down to availability, price, and just what you're into. Um, can I recommend other knives over it? Sure. But can I recommend this over other knives? Definitely. Um, Ontario Rot 7, great knife. That's exactly where I'm going to leave it. This is Donnie B all day saying, until next knife.